Welcome to Dynamic Thriving Audio Blog, where we're very spiritual with a good dose of practicality in support of your life transformation. This is your host, Mary Ann Pack, spiritual medium, oracle for the many, and joy advocate. Today's audio blog is entitled, Your Reality Will Agree With You Every Time. What's coming up in your reality? What are you consistently experiencing? Are they experiences that are not so great? Maybe even things that you really don't like? Or are they wonderful experiences that you recall with fondness? Your reality will agree with you every time. What does that even mean? How could you say such a thing when my reality sucks? I didn't agree to this. I can emphatically declare that your reality will agree with you every single time because you have created your reality by your dominant thoughts, whether positive or negative. Whatever you think will bring you the essence of those thought vibrations to you. Maybe not the exact experience you were thinking, but you will receive the essence, the feeling that was attracted by your dominant thoughts, vibrations. I know this because this is the premise of the law of attraction. That which is like unto itself is drawn. Like attracts like. Like thoughts will attract like experiences that perfectly match your dominant thought patterns via vibrations. It is law. So there's no denying that this law is universal. It works every single time and is always fair. It gives each according to their vibrational frequency, negatively and positively. You can't think about something and get something different. That's similar to Einstein's definition of insanity repeating the same thing and expecting different results. In other words, you can't complain, worry, or doubt and and receive amazingly delightful experiences. They are on completely opposite ends of the vibrational spectrum. Energetically, they cannot attract each other. If we want an exceptional reality, we must think, exceptional thoughts. There's no blame here. It's no one else's fault. No one created your reality except you. If you want a better reality, create it with your thoughts. Recently, I wrote a blog post entitled, Only Talk About What You Want. It was discussing all the reasons it is imperative to only talk about what we want if we want to create a life we love living. Because if we talk more about what we don't want or the absence of what we do want, we're only going to get more of what we don't want or what we want can't come to us because we are complaining that what we want isn't showing up. So what would you love for your reality to agree with you on? If you're anything like me, I want my reality to agree with my happy, satisfied, appreciative thoughts. So I must spend more time focusing on what I truly want. So those thoughts become my dominant patterns of thought. No more of this negative shit. I lived that way for so many years in the past. When I began my improved spiritual and mindset journey, I knew I wanted to feel good. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to enjoy life and be enthusiastic about what I was doing and experiencing. I wanted to love life because that was far from what my reality had been for most of my life. To create my new reality, I had to release my old toxic indoctrinated beliefs that were really just a pack of lies about who I was and what I should expect from life. I had to make the decision to find new beliefs that felt really good to my soul. 
have I gotten rid of all the old beliefs and only think about my new beliefs? Nope. Sometimes I find myself in my default energy and returning to my old ways of thinking. But you know what? I am better and better at catching myself, heading in that direction of wallowing around in those thoughts and soulless beliefs and choosing to reconnect with my soul full beliefs. So how did you get better at noticing you were heading back into your old toxic beliefs? I'm so glad you asked. I became devoted to myself. I decided that since I wanted a better life, I would have to create it myself. No one was going to create the life of my dreams but me. My reality had been agreeing with me as I created a shitty life. So maybe it would be just as good at agreeing with me when I wanted to create a dazzling life of joy. It's taken me years after leaving the church and my indoctrinated upbringing to evaluate those beliefs and understand the ones that were causing me the trauma. Once I was able to identify some of those beliefs, it was much easier to identify what I really wanted instead. I wanted to begin to create a belief system that would support the happy life I really wanted. I'm a work in progress, so I am still working through the process. I must say, though, that I'm really enjoying life now. I've shifted my thought patterns enough that I am truly believing that I am goodness in the flesh. And it simply means that if I want that good life, I must start thinking thoughts that have a good feeling life vibe. The more and more I do this, I walk through my days with more peace and joy because life has begun to agree with me and shown me evidence of this new agreement. It's all about energy and vibration. The language of the universe is vibration. Learn to speak the language. I'm learning how to speak the language of the universe to get more of what I want. You know very well that if you meet someone who doesn't speak the same language as you, there's very little understanding of each other. You could, however, understand that they were upset or agitated if they were screaming and flailing their arms around. And you could understand they were happy if they had a smile on their face and their eyes were bright and beaming. You can sense their vibe. You're not understanding their words. You're understanding their vibration. The same, the same is with the universe. The universe doesn't ever understand your words. It only understanding comes in the form of vibrations that you emit. And your thoughts and emotions are creating the quality of your vibration. This lets the universe know how to understand your request for more. So if you are full of thoughts that feel horrible, the universe will understand your negative frequency as your request for more horrible vibrational experiences. No matter what you say with words, the universe is only matching your vibration. Make sure you turn your thoughts to only to what you want. As you do, you will think about what you want more and more and your vibration will raise because you feel good thinking about it. Then the universe will clearly understand the language you are speaking, vibration, and will match this improved vibration with essential experiences that match. It's always up to you whether or not you choose to benefit from learning the vibrational language of the universe. You can deny it all you want and refuse to, Im refuse to improve your quality of thoughts to create an improved agreement, but why? When there is so much joy to be experienced in life, 
why wouldn't you figure out how to improve your vibra vibrational language skills so that your reality is in agreement with you, the vibrational you on the inside? The universe will feel your improvement and bring you the best life ever. Remember, your emotions tell on your thoughts every single time. This is the best way to understand the language of the universe and purposefully design your reality as something you really enjoy. Good feeling emotions are attached to good feeling thoughts and are emitting a high vibration. These high quality vibrations will allow your reality to be in agreement with your desire for an amazing reality. As I close for today's post, you may want to consider the following questions and write your thoughts in your journal. What can you do to create better thoughts, which lead to better feeling emotions, which raise the quality of your vibrations? Since you are the creator, what do you want your reality to agree to bring you? How would you design your greatest life? What would be possible if you learned to create higher quality vibrations that your reality agreed with? If your answers have left you with a gaping hole, creating more questions than answers, let's talk. Schedule your Discover My Joy and Well-Being session with me. It's my gift to you. Let's figure out a way to help you become the you that your reality agrees with, and it's extraordinary. If this post has resonated with you, please like, comment, and be sure and subscribe and share this post. This really helps my work to expand and touch more lives with joy. Thanks in advance. To your agreeable reality, this is Mary Ann Pack your spiritual medium, oracle, and joy advocate.